In the previous video, we learned how to gracefully handle errors using the special file error.tsx. However, some errors may not be serious and could be fixed by simply trying again. In this video, we will learn how to recover from such errors. Let's get started. The error boundary defined in error.tsx file comes with a handy prop. It receives a reset function, which we can destructure along with the error object. Let's also specify the function type. In the JSX, we can add a button that triggers the reset function on click, offering a way to retry rendering the component in page.tsx. Button, the text is try again. On click, we invoke reset. To ensure that we can recover on client side, we need to convert our page.tsx to a client component as well. So add use client at the top of the file. Now heading back to the browser and reloading until we hit the error, we see a try again button alongside the error message. Clicking this button re-renders the review ID component. If the random number doesn't equal one, we recover from the error and load the actual page. To summarize, executing the reset function attempts to re-render the error boundary's contents. If successful, the fallback error component is replaced with the re-rendered content from page.tsx. This is how we recover from errors in the new app router. All right, we still have more to dive into regarding error handling, which we will continue in the next video. Thank you for watching and please do consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.